Um, I'm sure it's the same way all around the world, but here in the U.S. we always hear about you know, these campus rapes, these campus assaults, all these women being sexually harassed and how big of an issue it is. And then should we do things like arming women, regardless you know, if you agree with that or not. But it's such a big deal here, but when it happens uh, someplace else and it's a different type of deal, it's not you know, some college bro, you know, it's a different type of person you know, from different uh, origin or background or whatever else, it's like you can't touch it, you can't dare right. mention it. No, and it's and and even just to to show you how this insane it is protecting this image of Islam. So you heard today about the uh, Philly cop who was shot by a man who claims he did it in the name of ISIS. Mm -hmm. He had a stolen gun from a police officer and shoots this cop. Well, the Philly mayor comes out immediately and says this jihadist. He had nothing to do with being a Muslim. It has nothing to do with the religion. Oh, I'm sorry, did you investigate? Did you know that this wasn't, Did he, was he in contact with ISIS and they told him to, I mean, immediately comes out to just declare. Uh, yeah, and I and the people would say, well, you're just saying that because the guy's Muslim. I remember the story, I believe it happened in New York, two officers were sitting in the car, somebody walked up behind them and shot them both in the head. Right. As far as I know, that had nothing to do with Islam, but it's still a very important story to illustrate, you know, violence in the street, regardless of why it was perpetrated. That guy had his reason, this guy had this reason. Other people may have other reasons, but you don't just poo-poo it away because you don't like the reason why they did it. Thank right. you so much, Leanne McAdoo, for joining us here in the studio. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Regarding executive orders, the Constitution states in Article 2, Section 3, Clause 5, that the executive, i.e. the president, take care that the laws be faithfully executed or face impeachment. Specifically, an executive order must find support in the Constitution. Watering down the Second Amendment in order to confiscate the lawful right of a majority of Americans to protect themselves can hardly mean the laws are being faithfully executed. The conversation has to be based on facts and truth and what we're actually proposing. A big miss for Obama as he failed to explain to all of us what is contained in his latest executive order, allowing HIPAA to protect doctors that order gun confiscation of their patients based on vague conditions is what's really sending alarm bells ringing, as if the health care system wasn't screwed up enough unconstitutionally by Obama. We heard not only from the gun lobby, but from United States senators that expanding background checks will, not may, will lead to a registry, which will lead to confiscation, 
which will lead to a tyrannical government. Let's not forget that Gabrielle Giffords thankfully survived the 2011 Tucson shooting by the possibly MK Ultra victimized Jared Lee Loeffner, who erratically declared to the police while victims were still being treated, I just want you to know that I'm the only person that knew about this. Strange. Unfortunately, federal judge John Roll, a staunch blockade to Obama's future immigration invasion, was murdered, along with five others. Talk about a conspiracy. I'm sorry, Cooper. Yes, it is fair to call it a conspiracy. What, what, what are you saying? Are, are, the, uh, I, are you suggesting that the notion that uh, we are creating a plot to take everybody's guns away so that we can impose martial law. While you've been president, we are at the lowest murder rate in our country. All time low right. of murders. We've been talking about Chicago, but downstate Illinois is closer to Kentucky and everybody hunts down there. And so this is not alien territory to me. I grew up in Kentucky. Trust me, those guns aren't just for hunting. And secondly, Obama, you don't know a damn thing about Kentucky. Well, I've got bad news for all of you that scoff at the word impeachment. Once Obama leaves office, he will have set the table for global government to legally come in and feast on the American public. Obama trade, with its laws that bypass the U.S. Congress for the benefit of the banking corporate elite. Obamacare, a middle-class destroying Stasi-esque data collection system masquerading as a healthcare system. Obamagration, flooding our cities with criminals and jihadists. And now Obamafiscation, a solitary push to reduce the threat posed by armed Americans as the final dish by the New World Order's puppet is presented to the table. By not impeaching Obama, our nationalist apathy will legally and necessarily aid and abet the death of the United States of America. The time is now. Call your representative at 202-224-3121. Operators are standing by. And if your representative needs more information, direct them to the NorthAmericanLawCenter.org's Articles of Impeachment of Barack Hussein Obama at the very top of their webpage. John Bound for Infowars.com. So joining us is Stephen Pidgeon, NorthAmericanLawCenter.org. Sir, you're the constitutional lawyer, the political scientist, but that, you know, my point is, am I right? We have a responsibility. I mean, the law isn't something we just enforce when we feel like it, sir. Is that correct? That's correct, Alex. And in fact, uh, what you're saying is extremely important. We've reached a threshold point now where Mr. Obama is poised to completely overthrow the constitutional republic with a continuous stream of executive orders which exceed the power of the presidency and usurp the authority of Congress. He's doing it through the expansion of bureaucracies and demanding Congress fall in line with his ultra-virus acts to the Constitution. This light, latest play with gun control is particularly onerous, and he's using the uh, socialist tax plan called Obamacare to implement uh, what really are policies that were originated in the Third Reich. You know, the Obamacare uh, strikes uh, chords of uh, doctrines that were criminalized under the 1947 Nuremberg Act when doctors were executed from uh, the Nazi regime for proposing just exactly what's on the table with Obamacare. And he's using the same playbook uh, to say, well, doctors can determine whether or not you're a healthcare threat. If you're a social security recipient, you have no right to own a firearm, so on and so forth, all in a guise to completely disarm the American public while he imports hundreds of thousands of uh, Muslim terrorists and other paid mercenaries who come into the country unarmed to find mosques that are essentially armories. And what you're saying is borne out by the facts. It sounds sensational, but for those that don't know, it's the plotting, Obamacare, an open power grab over the whole infrastructure, one-seventh the economy, blank check, uh, the funding, the, 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 the UPS planes, uh, funded by the feds flying in, disappearing. JFK Airport says we're told just let them in and just release them. We don't even look at their IDs. I, I mean, th meanwhile, the TSA grubs 10-year-old girls. This is an unprecedented takeover. And walking through this, sir, uh, you know, flesh out what you're saying here about this appearing to be a planned takeover. Because I agree, this doesn't just look like a soft takeover anymore. It looks like there could be even more draconian stuff planned. 
it's not it's not a soft takeover anymore. And this is where we have arrived. I mean, all of this business of allowing criminal activity on the part of Mr. Obama over the last six years, including his usurpation of the office, his failure to establish his own identity, his identity fraud, actionable identity fraud, uh, the crimes he's committed uh, in terms of uh, rules of engagement in the field, deploying American troops, spending money, American tax dollars, to further the benefit of Hezbollah, Hamas, the Palestinian uh, Liberation Army, uh, Islamic Jihad, his own funding, training, and deployment of ISIS. All of these are well-established facts Gosh. and buttressed by a great deal of evidence and all amount to egregious breaches of his trust as the president of the United States, and they're all impeachable offenses. And so either the country acts to restore the rule of law and impeach this gentleman for the crimes he has committed against this country, or we lose the constitutional republic. I mean, it really has gotten to that point. Well, he wears a Wahhabist ring. He has family that have overthrown countries in the Middle East. He's been caught financing the Muslim Brotherhood. I thought they were just manipulating the Arabs and using them to take over the Middle East, the more radical groups. But when you really get down to it, I've talked to a lot of senior people in the government and, and, and folks at high level in government that have talked to others, and I've confirmed it over two years with high-level folks. And I've got Bongino calling me up going, I didn't tell you that. And I said on air, no, it wasn't Bongino. He said it's worse than I know, but never told me anything secret, the head of Obama's foreign details. And then he quit saying it's worse than you know. I have got it, and I've gotten some threats over this because it's, it's, it, they know it's true. Obama is a practicing Wahhabist. He actually prays every five times a day. Uh, and I didn't believe this back when I heard it five years ago, but this is from high-level people. They are scared of him. I mean, they... Uh, I mean, I guess that's why Congress won't do anything is uh, he's backed by George Soros, this crazy Nazi collaborator. I can't believe we're in this much trouble and the left is supporting it. And Merkel says basically let, quote, criminals come in. That's a quote. And, and the feminist mayor says let them, you know, you know, it's your fault, women, that you're raped. I mean, my, I guess the left really is taking over and is allied with radical Islam. Well, it's not just the left, Alex. This is what our problem is here today. We've had a great deal of stonewalling coming from the upper leadership also of the Republican Party. And there really is no excuse for it. Uh, you know, recently 163 Democrat legislators signed on a bill that will essentially get the Bill of Rights entirely based upon this gun control rhetoric. Uh, so we're, we're at a point where, you know, it's gun control today and internment camps tomorrow. The reality is that when, you, when you're discussing Mr. Obama, he has committed a series of crimes that are ongoing. And the crimes have not stopped. We had to stop at 48 articles because we just simply couldn't gather together more of the treasonous acts that he's committed. For instance, trading Mr. Bergdahl for five al-Qaeda leaders that were immediately deployed into the field. Also spying on Congress, an article that appears to have gone away, spying on Congress and foreign leaders without any probable cause. We're under a search and seizure environment with cameras deployed everywhere and NSA downloads. Etc. All of these things violate the Constitution, and we've sat back and taken it for six years. And that's it for our show tonight. Be sure to go to prisonplanet.tv and get yourself a free trial. You can see the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, all right there on prisonplanet.tv. And also go to the Alex Jones channel on YouTube. Many great reports that you can see there as well. Well, I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again next week. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.